Hi, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to produce an oblique drawing, um, aka oblique projection from a given orthographic view. Now, this is one of the things that every mechanical student needs to know how to do for their exam. And from the list is how to draw an isometric from a given orthographic, how to draw an oblique drawing from a given um, orthographic, and so on. Alright, now I'll be working on this um, task here, which is a uh, CXC past paper question. Alright, and here it reads Figure 1 shows an orthographic view of a machine block in first angle orthographic proje projection. Now, using a scale of 1 to 1, draw an oblique projection with XX as the lowest point. Here is XX. Alright, XX. And as you can see here, this is XX as well. And they say that this is a first angle. So it means that this here is the plan view. This here is the um, front view. All right. Now, if you do not understand oblique drawing, I suggest you looking at the video that I have on introduction to oblique projection. And that will guide you through the process. The next thing is that you need to be able to visualize and interpret the drawing. All right. Now, as you can see here, if this is the plan, all right, you're seeing this little portion here in the middle. That is actually represented here on the elevation view. So there's going to be a little middle portion in the middle there. All right. Everything else that you're seeing here, that this, that is this X edge, X, X edge here, that's basically this portion. And this line that you're seeing here is basically here. Now, anywhere you see a solid line that is actually indicating that there is a change in depth, or it's meaning that there is a separation in terms of like, um, those two portions are not on the same level, all right? As you can see here with this, there is an edge here or a line, so it means that this is actually stepped in a bit, as you can see from the plan view. If you see an in detail line, it means that there is um, probably an hollow section um, or a portion that is out of your view. So, for example, this hidden line that you're seeing here is actually representing this corner here, and then here is actually represented by this in detail. So, because this up here is blocking what's down here if you're looking at it you can't see it you'll just see a line or just a solid portion um, but we need to indicate that portion so we have it in hidden detail line so let's get into things now typically for the sketch and design portion of the exam they say that you should not spend more than 30 minutes on it um, but we can get it done um, before then all right so i'm going to copy this image and i'm going to paste it in autocad um, i'm also going to scale it in on the day of the exam you'll have your um, image in front of you on your sheet so you won't need to do what I'm doing but the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing is because I do not want to be going back and forth um, to see the image all right so um, we're doing an oblique drawing and remember the front portion of the object is always going to be along the picture plane so it's going to be flat to the screen right now and the shape that i'm going to be drawing is going to be this edge here all right this edge here because this is the closest point to the front or which is going to be aligned to the picture plane that's this portion here this l shape here so i'm going to draw that portion there first so i'm going down 75 and then i'm going across 100 all right, I'm going up 10 and then I'm going across 10 then I'm going up um, another 10 all right then I'm going across by a certain amount whatever that is I'm just gonna draw the line randomly first and I'm going to try to figure out what's the width of this um, portion here now if it's not given then you know we'll have to um, just use our judgment for that there all right so for this one here we're not seeing the measurement we're not seeing it anywhere so we're going to judge that one we're going to assume that it is 10 because it seems as if it's a similar uh, measurement to the rest in terms of like sizing so we're going 10 and then we're going down until we touch here perpendicularly then we flat the corners so that is going to be the face because as you can see from the drawing here as you can see no there aren't any lines separating all of this here so it means that it's one flat surface all right now it's time for us to draw the receding axis now the receding axis are going to be equal to um the width of the object as you can see here and the receding axis can be done at an angle of 30 45 you decide um, personally i prefer to do them at 
45 degree that's just my preference and I'm going to draw the line angle line manually so I'm going to go 45 degree and if you don't know what to draw this I suggest you watching the introduction to ice to oblique drawing um, on how to do these receding axis now the depth of it is going to be what 80 all right once I have that 18 place I'll just, I'm just going you can repeat the process of drawing the 80 degree line at the at 80 millimeter line at 45 degree at these edges as well because we're making this a 3d object but i don't need to do that i can easily just copy i can easily just copy this one line that is already to the measurement at the respective um are placing them at the respective locations and then i simply connect the lines at the ends like this all right just like this so as you can see here this is going to be flat to the picture plane I'm going to grab onto this line here I'm going to be copying it because I don't want to draw over anything again to these corners if something needs to be erased I can always erase it afterwards and I'm just drawing the main body of the object first so I'm going to fill at these corners here or you could trim the option is yours oh there is an error here let's grab it and place it there all right now once that is in place the only thing that's left for us to do is to draw the middle um circular curve here in the middle that makes sense right here that's this portion here and this is going to be smack in the center all right so we need to find the center of this line so let's just draw a line just for reference purpose and rep reference purposes only let me just switch around these to their appropriate layer which is going to be my object layer please bring mind that this is a sketch this is a sketch so in the exam if you get paper you can just easily do it on the paper um if you want to do it in autocad that's totally fine as well all right or whatever program that you're using for the exam autocad architecture um autocad uh, uh, make um whatever software um sketchup blender whatever you're using for your exam all right so let's do this portion now all right now um just for reference purpose they say that the width of this here oh they gave us a distance it's actually 25 from the side okay let's see what that would be then all right so let's just copy this here along the 45 degree axis let me turn this on 45 oh yeah let's go now 45 i'm just going to grab onto here and then i'll enter the 25. you should snap it where it needs to be all right yeah that's where it should be and then now i'll do the other portion so i'll grab onto this copy grab my base point just move my cursor here just because i want to snap onto that plane if you understand what i'm saying and then i enter 30 then it's where it's supposed to be now from there now um, we can now um, draw the curve all right and it's going just going to be a circle and since based on how it's oriented it's going to be on the picture plane all right and the circle is going to be center right here and it's going to go up all the way up to the top right here which is the first point or the first circle if i want i could easily draw a line up from here to touch that point as well and then i can now easily trim away anything that i would not um see and you'll see the vision there is the vision so i believe that is the outer one but the inner one is going to be 20 inwards maybe i could try to offset maybe that will work 20 and see what it looks like all right so that's what it will look like now once i've done so i'm now going to draw and i'm just going to i need some reference line so i'm going to copy this line and place it here for reference purpose so i know that when i grab onto this and grab onto this and copy I can now easily snap to that point where it should be all right please bear in mind that i'm going to remove that line oh i leave that one for now but i'm going to remove a few lines from my um, drawing let me just paste them on the um construction layer so it's a bit paler all right now based on what we're seeing here this line here we would not be able to see it however we would be able to see all the sharp edges such as from 
here to here and then across to here all right these can now be placed on my um, object layer um, all of this here in the background we would not see so you know we can um, trim those out or clean up our drawing a bit clean those out all right other things that we would not see we would not see a line here remember that was a reference line so we're going to place that on our construction layer and let's draw a line that is solid all right because that's a visible 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 edge all right all right so this is what it will look like all right this is what an oblique drawing would look like especially when you're thinking about um this um drawing that we have here now i hope this video was helpful in you understanding um how to tackle past papers as well as the exam so just in case this year for mechanical person they give you an oblique drawing to do from an orthographic you have an idea what to do think about once it's a circular object where is the center located um, once you're looking at the orthographic think about the smooth surface if you're not seeing any lines passing through it means that it's one solid thing and all of it is on one level if you're seeing a line it means that it means that there's a change in depth as you can see here this line represented by this line here this line represented by here as you can see change in depth change in depth all of here that's why you're seeing these line here all right so um if you're not subscribed i suggest you do um please share this video with someone who might need the assistance um, um so all the best in your exam i'll try to put out a few more on conventional representations so just in case they take any of those or they bring any of those on the exam you guys will be um, prepared thanks for watching and see you in the next um,